Hello everybody and welcome to my very first Watch Me Work. In this video I will be showing you how I accomplished this baby boomer and glitter nail design. Therefore my coming up engagement pictures. To start off, this is what my nails looked like before. They are about three to four weeks old and as you can tell I have one broken one. So to start off, I am taking a metal cuticle pusher and just pushing back my cuticle and removing any debris along the sides. The bit I will be using for removal is my mandrel bit along with a medium grit zebra arbor band. And the e-file I use is an Erica MT20. I'm just going to turn it on and turn it to forward and I use it at about a quarter speed to take down the bulk. So here I am just removing the bulk of the product and all that old color. I alternate from going across the nail and then I turn my hand piece and go along the sides. And I also always make sure to look down the barrel to ensure that I'm getting the bulk of all the product removed. I embed majority of the time, so I remove about 90% of the product. This is once all the bulk is taken off. And then I'm going to turn my e-file down to about an eighth of the speed to do the rest of the cuticle prep. So for the rest of my prep, I just take it on the low speed and remove any areas that have any lifting in them and gently go across the natural nail where it's grown out. Then I just have a dust brush and I'm dusting all the dust off into my vent. I'm using Fusion Cleanser to remove the rest of the dust and wiping with my towel. And here are my prepped nails. Now I'm going in with Canwest Nail Primer and I apply this over the entire nail surface. Next I go in with Amore Bonder and I am applying a thin layer of this with my Fusion Speed Shine brush and I'm applying this to all the nails and then fully curing. Next is Fusion SL Clear. Again, apply this to all the nails, except I'm missing my index nail because we will be extending that one. And fully cure once done. The nail form I am using is the E-Nail Couture nail form. I really like these forms. They are very nice and sturdy. However, I do place the little inside portion of it on the back for a little bit more stability. It's not necessary for this length of nail, but once you get longer, it's really nice to have that extra support. Next, I roll it between my fingers just to get a little bit of a C curve going, and then I apply it, and close the tabs, and it is perfect. I like these forms because they have the little hyponychium area cut out, which is really handy. And my builder gel I use for sculpting is Fusion Sculpture because it is a nice thick gel that does not move. So when I do any extensions I always put a thin layer over the entire nail and then I go in with a little bit more product and shape out the length of nail that I'm using. And then I'll fully cure once I'm happy. Then I pinch the form close, pop it off and it just removes very easily and I have a nail. Next I'm just going in with my Fusion Cleanser again and wiping with a towel to remove the dispersion layer. And now I'm going in with a 120 grit zebra file. I have already scored the edges. You always want to be sure to score the edges so that you don't cut yourself or your clients. And I'm just going in and perfecting the shape of that extension. Dusting off all the dust. Spraying with my cleanser again to remove any excess. And there are my prepped nails ready for color. For the baby boomer, I am going in with Fusion Wish and I am applying that with my Fusion Speed Shine brush to the tip of the nail. 
I have a more in-depth tutorial on how I do my baby boomers, which I will link up in the description box and in the little cue cards that will come up on the top right hand of your screen, I believe. But I've just applied the Wish, which is a nice, soft, transparent white. And then I just fade it down the nail and fully cure when I'm happy. And there's the white applied to all three nails. And then I go in with Fusion Repairs, which is a nice, milky, kind of soft pink color. And again, we're applying that to the cuticle area, and then we will fade it up towards the free edge. So you're kind of doing the reverse, same technique, but in reverse with the white and then the pink. And then once I'm happy with that, I will fully tear. And there are the baby boomer nails done. For the glitter, I'm using, using Fusion's White Out from their 2017 Winter Collection, which is a really cool kind of sparkly matte glitter. And I'm applying it with a dotting tool. I like applying my Fusion with a dotting tool because it gives me a nice smooth application. And I really like this mosaic dotting tool because it is double-ended one side's bigger for applying the product and the other side's smaller for going in along the sides. And then to embed, I am using my Fusion 5, which is a nice thick gel. And I place the majority of the bead in the center and then I kind of cover the whole entire nail with it. And then I will go back in and build up the spots where I think need a little bit building up. And then once I'm happy with how the structure of the nail is looking, I will fully cure. Here are all five nails once they are have been embedded. And I'm spraying off with my Fusion Cleanser again to remove the dispersion layer. And I'm going back in with that same 120 grit um, zebra file to perfect the shape a little bit. So I always go along the edges and perfect the shape and then I will go over the top with my E file. And I always go underneath a little bit like this just to get rid of any excess that may have gotten under the nail. And I like dusting off in between my hand filing and my E filing just to make sure the shape is what I'm wanting. Then the speed I have my e-file set at is again the 1 8 speed. And I just go over the entire surface, similar to how I removed the bulk of it, but with a very light and low speed. And you always want to make sure you're looking down the barrel and at all angles to ensure that you don't have any peaks or valleys anywhere. Once I have them all smoothed out, I go in with a buffer just to give them a nice quick buff and this will get rid of any deep scratch marks from your e-file or your hand file. Once again, spray with my Fusion Cleanser and wipe off. And here they are once I'm done my finish filing. Up next, I'm going in with my top coat which is my Fusion Extreme Shine and applying that to all the nails and fully curing. Once that's cured, I will once again remove the dispersion layer with my cleanser. Then I go in with a little bit of cuticle oil. This one's the Fusion Juicy Pomegranate. Rub that in and then a little lotion, which this is Bath & Body Works Endless Weekend. And lastly, I'm going in with my LCN Super Shine Finish Cleaner, which just leaves the nails at a very high shine. So I put it on a little wipe and then rub the nails until they squeak. And there we have it, the finished set. I hope you all enjoyed this Watch Me Work video. I will hopefully be able to do more of these in the future. 
Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and check back again next Monday for a new video. Bye for now.